Right, so the first thing I want to do is I want to upgrade the uh, firmware on this uh, controller that I have first before I do anything else. So I've loaded the uh, file, I've got a temperature probe, I've got Bluetooth, I've got any outlets and a buzzer, and that's all I've got. So I go into tools, make sure it's a nano board, which it is, make sure it's the old boot loader, which it is, and I've got the correct COM port. So let's just program the controller uh, with this uh, new firmware before I upgrade the Windows app. Says it's uploading. And it's done uploading. All right. So it's firmware 309, which is correct. Okay, so next step is let's go the Windows route. All right, so we finished uh, reprogramming the controller with the latest version 310 firmware. And now we want to look at installing the latest Windows app to go with that. But before we do that, we have to uninstall the old driver using control, uh, the application using control panel. Uh, because uh, there have been some significant changes to the Windows app. So I want to remove any, um, any of the old versions of My Focus Pro 2 um, before we actually uh, install the new version. And the reason for that is that when the uh, application runs, it creates some application variables that it uses to keep track of um, what's happening and of course some of these have been changed in the new version so if you don't do this um, you could end up, end up having some uh, crashes of the Windows app saying it can't access things and that's because they were all changed so I'm going to run setup and I'll just set the folder to my D drive here And so this is the new uh, My Focus Pro 2 Windows app. And we'll go through some of these settings now. Right, so uh, this is the new Windows app. I'm on the connection tab. I've got uh, three boxes along here. My firmware, sorry, firmware board version. Uh, and I'll, you'll see what those do, do in a moment. I've got a new on connect send group and the update on connect uh, groups changed. Um, and I have a profiles tab, which is new. And all these things here, you can't change them or click on them. I just put them there for reference. These are all the properties that are saved by the controller. And so obviously profiles are gonna save what's in the controller. So if I go to connection and I choose nothing, what these boxes here do, profile, update on, connect, and nothing, is they decide what you send to the controller to change when you connect. So if I choose nothing, it means nothing's going to be changed in the controller, and all it's going to do is read all the settings that are in the controller right now. So let's do that, and I'll click connect. Right, so it's got max steps, and it's got... Um, temperature and the temperature coefficient and the precision and backlash and everything else. It's got all those settings from the controller. And so what I can do is I can save this now if I want and I'll save it as ed80.txt. Oops, sorry. You don't need to write .txt. So ed80 is the profile. I'm saving all those configurations. In. All right. And we can go out and have a look. Um... There's the file there, and you can see all these settings here all reflect what's what was in the controller. The max steps, remember, backlash was off, etc. So it saved all those settings, which means that I can restore them at any time should something go wrong, or I can restore them on connect. So uh, let's just go back to connection, and let's uh, disconnect things for a moment. 
update on connect, this should already be familiar with. If I choose update on connect, then whatever is specified in this bot, uh, this group, um, then those settings will be sent to the controller on connecting. So if I do that, it will send everything on the temperature tab, uh, which is here, it will send all of these settings here to the controller when it connects, before it reads anything. So nothing much has changed about that. If I go to profile, then I've got a choice of loading a profile and saving a profile. You just saw me save all the current settings and using the save button, and I'm not connected to a controller. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around and start changing some things. Uh, so let's make this uh, 34750. Enter. Let's make this uh, minus 1.2. Enter. Temperature coefficient. Let's make it 22. Let's make this. Let's turn this off. Uh, let's go into backlash and enable backlash and double the settings here. 20, 30, enter, enter. Delays, delay after move is also stored by the controller. So let's make that 23 milliseconds. Motor settings, let's go to slow. Let's go to half step. Let's go to uh, 15.4. Enter, we'll enable it and we'll enable call power in reverse uh, direction. So I've got all of those in this control uh, in this Windows app now. So if I go to connect and if I choose update on connect, it will send all those settings. But I can easily save these in a profile right now because it's going to take what's ever there. So let's save it in new ed80.txt. Oh, sorry, keep, keep forgetting you don't have to type text. All right, and choose save. And if I go back now and have a look at this, I've got one called new ed80, which is this. And I've got one called called the old ED80, which is this. And you can see that the, the new one has got a lot of things changed. See, so temp offset, minus 1.2 compared to zero. Uh, temp direction, false compared to true. So it saved all those settings that I configured in the controller first. And I saved those into this new profile. So I'll just put that to one side. Because we're going to reference that in a sec. Uh, get rid of the old one, and we'll go back to here. So let's load a profile. So let's load the new ED80 profile. And after loading a profile, the next step you should do is connect to the controller with on profile send uh, and the profile radio button selected. So we're just going to send this profile, that's all these things, to the controller. So we'll do that. So it's going to send all those settings first. And then it's going to read whatever the settings are. Notice max steps has changed. Notice on temperature we've got a different offset. Notice on temp comp we've got a different uh, value compared to before. We've set it to uh, 9, which is 0 0.5 degrees. Celsius is on. Backlash is enabled and all the values have changed. Okay, so with profiles now, what we can do is we can create all these special configuration files for each of our process. You know, for each of our telescope focus controllers. And you can use the single app now to control these different controllers without having to do too much trouble. The MyFocus Pro 2 app can't possibly run as multiple copies because it uses uh, window settings to save everything. But what you can do is you can, you can now have a laptop, for example, controlling your uh, your observatory focus controller and then you can take your laptop out into the field and you can choose the appropriate profile by loading it. Of course you can't load it when it's connected because it'll change everything. Um, and you can load the one for the field for example and then you can connect and know that everything's perfect. Uh, you'd also note of course that you can do the same thing using nothing. Nothing means 
it sends nothing, it just reads everything from the controller and doesn't change anything. Problem with using nothing is if you happen to be connected to, to the controller and you do something like this or this, that obviously changes what's in the controller. So next time up, it's going to reflect what the changes were. So to get everything back to normal, what you can do is you can now use the profiles and you can be guaranteed when you load a profile and connect immediately that the profile which was saved, all the settings, will actually be sent to the controller and will be acted upon before anything is actually read. So that's profiles.